Hey folks, we got this beautiful pool outside. We want to have our tunes out here, and we'd love to do it with the Sonos Zone player. Just one problem. It's not waterproof. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the Sonos Connect amp in conjunction with these Yamaha speakers that are outdoor speakers. That way we can listen to Pandora, iTunes, and everything else while we enjoy the pool. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, step one, we've got to be able to connect the speakers to something. So we're going to use these little banana, banana connectors. What they do is they'll either unscrew so you can stick speaker wire through them, or they've got a hole right in the middle so you can use a banana connector on the end. So we need to mount this up in the ceiling, up in the corner, so that we can get the speakers beside it. We're going to use this Monster XPCI, and the reason why is because it's CL3 rated, which means it's specifically for in-wall use. Make sure whatever speaker uh, cable you choose is in-wall speaker cable so you don't run into any kind of fire hazards. So I'm going to use a really small drill bit to make a pilot hole, and then I'm going to go up upstairs and check, make sure that we're coming out where we think we are. Okay, so it's a good thing that I actually drilled that pilot hole because Here's another little tip for you. I shoved a coat hanger right up through that hole that I drilled, and I can see that it's coming in right beside this 2x4. So that tells me that I need to make sure that I cut the box hole to this, the other side so it doesn't hit that 2x4. Okay, so we need actually one of these little junction box frames in order to mount the jacks for the speakers. And so I need to take this and mark the hole drill a larger pilot hole, and then we're going to use the jigsaw to cut it out. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to mount the connect amp right here in the entertainment center, which means we need the speakers for it to be wired in the wall directly behind it. All right, now it's time to play Connect the Dots. Okay, folks, so we're up in the attic now. We're ready to drop the cable down in the wall. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this flexible fiberglass fishing rod, that's what you call it, uh, just to shove it down there and make sure that we're angling it straight down where we go. Okay, now all we need to do is take the cable here and run it over to its respective ends. Okay, last step, mounting the speakers. Then it's gonna be time to kick back and enjoy. All right, well that's it. Basically, you drill a couple of holes, you string a wire in between, and plug in the Sonos. Now, as you can see, we're able to access the patio on any of our devices, whether it was a laptop, a tablet, a phone. Just hit the button, choose some music, hit play. We're in business. All right, stay tuned for more from GeekBeat TV and head on over to youtube.com forward slash GeekBeat TV. I'm going to go enjoy the pool.